I were the best players in the world, you know, I say Mike and I say Kobe. LeBron's after that for you? MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today we are talking about Allen Iris and confirming that Kobe Bryant is the second greatest of all time. Check it out. Another one of the all time greats, Kobe Bryant, in mm. your draft class. And he became, in his words, obsessed with you. He said early in your rookie years, you had a game where you scored 35, and he scored two points in five minutes the same night. Didn't feel good about that. In fact, he said, quote, When I checked into my hotel room later that night and saw the 35, he said, I lost it. I flipped the table, threw the chairs, broke the TV. There's more. He said, I obsessively read every article and book I could find about AI, watched every game he had played going back to high school. He said he studied shark attack videos wow. to think about angles that he could approach you at because you moved so fast and he thought that might help you. I mean, what do you, when you hear that, he broke a TV in his hotel room because he saw you had a good game and he didn't. I don't know, I just look at that as, yeah, that's Kobe Bryant. Yeah, but you, he said you were the one. He didn't say I was obsessed with everyone in the league. But he didn't I'm, say I watched everyone else's game back till high school. He said it was when, you. With Kobe, he was so different to where it's, it was like, Phil, I want the assignment. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Take Fisher off him, I want the assignment. Mm -hmm. I've never seen nobody as competitive like him, but Mike, that's it. Like when people talk about, you know, your favorite players and, and the, or the best players in the world, you know, I say Mike and I say Kobe. You know what I mean? And then everybody else. LeBron's after um, that. Definitely. Okay. Definitely after that. So there's two parts of this little clip that we got to discuss. The first is the competitive nature of Kobe Bryant, which is like no other in NBA history. To watch a shark movie to see how to try to contain Allen Iverson in his prime is just unthinkable. Nobody would go to that extent or even half of that extent today to try to figure out how to contain somebody. I mean, today, these guys often want to watch film. All right. I mean, they're solution to the the problem of, of Allen Iverson would probably just to be try to shoot threes to just try to try to outscore you all right but Kobe took this thing so serious and was so obsessive about the game you know that he went to his last he did his most that he could do all right to get the upper hand and that's what makes him the greatest competitor ever all right now secondly I want to point out this whole thing about Iverson calling Kobe Bryant the best ever. And I obviously agree with him. All right. And you have to know he's an old school guy and he's played with MJ. He's played with Kobe and he's seen LeBron firsthand. I don't know if he played against LeBron or whatever, but he's definitely seen him plenty of times, knows his game enough to compare all three of these guys their drive, their effort, their energy, right? So this is somebody that we can trust when he says that he is second all time because he knows, he knows more than, you know, a lot of these guys in the media who are paid and are trying to brainwash people to thinking that LeBron is somehow the best, has somehow leaped over, Kobe leaped over Michael. When those who saw it, like live on TV, I just, it's, that's how I saw it. Iverson, he's seen that. He's seen the level of competition. He's seen the passion, all right, displayed on the floor, the energy on the floor. So this is why he's out here explaining the difference between these caliber of players. He, you know, he's putting LeBron lower and he's putting Kobe and Michael on a higher level just because he experienced this, you know, firsthand while some of these other guys all right don't know what it's like to, to guard kobe or guard or go, or go up against michael jordan but iverson did all right magic did and that's why these guys are advocating for kobe and michael you know as being the greatest and putting lebron a little bit lower they can understand what's going on here all right so um so that's about it so until next